Well guys, I found a chain and I found this little strap here. The rest of my straps were buried in the snow. This is a lighter rated strap, but I do know that it's rated for about, I think 800 to 1200 pounds. And this frame only weighs probably about 150 to 200 pounds, I imagine. I was able to pick it up myself. So um, this strap should be accurate and um, we'll give it a try. It looks like a little more closer to me. You know, before I actually cr crawl underneath this thing, I'll go get my hard hat just in case if the thing tries to fall on my head. Looking good. I'm gonna go get my hard hat. Well guys, I got my hard hat. I have my drill bit. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this drill bit. I'm gonna mark out where I want my holes just to put a little indention. And then I'm going to use the excavator. I'm gonna lower it back down, pre-drill my holes. Um, and then when those holes are done and drilled, I can uh, hoist it back up here and bolt it in. Let's uh, lower this thing back down.
There's two holes. Let's get this other one done. So I got this longer drill bit here. I wanna put that on it and I'm gonna feed it through the hole. And uh, that way I can get a more accurate position to drill. Bear with me as I change this over. Okay. So, let me make sure this is still in the picture here. Oh yeah, you can see it. So I'm gonna put this little drill bit through this hole, kinda roughly mark out a spot. I almost feel that that should have been a little bit higher. Maybe right there. Okay. Same with this one. That looks about good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those holes through because, well, you know what? I don't like the position where I have that one. It should probably be more like right there. Okay. So I have those holes there. And I kind of have a pilot hole now. So I'm going to switch over to the uh, half inch because I'm going to use a half inch bolt um, to go through these things. Center.
so with the uh, markings there, I'm gonna drill these holes. I'm gonna drill it halfway through, and then halfway through the other side that way and try to join up the holes as best I can. That way they, I know that they'll meet up as best I can. I'm gonna take my finger and hold it on the hole on the back side. It kinda gives me a, my brain an understanding which direction I should be drilling towards. Drill out this hole and see how close I got. Oh, I can see the other hole. I'm a bit off though. Just slightly to the left. Okay. Do this side again, make sure I have a clear shot. Yep, I got a clean hole to the other side. Now it's time to do the next one. So there we have it guys. It hinges both directions. I don't want to move it right now because it's kind of laying flat right where it's at. But as you saw in previous videos, it does hinge in two directions. So um, our next video will be those actuators, which is the, uh, it's not hydraulic, but it's electric rams that you see here. We'll be uh, installing these actuators to the uh, frame and the post here um, to be able to control the uh, tilts of this thing. So, and then we'll have to do the wiring maybe in a fourth or a fifth part. Anyways, thanks for uh, hanging out with me and uh, I hope you learned a lot.